This is the fourth video in the series for Excel 2010-2007 and in this video we'll be looking at uh, conditional formatting, if function and we will be looking at copying and pasting as to what happens when you copy and paste in Excel. So in this exercise I've got a sample here where I've got some salespeople with some sales of 2009 and 2010. The first thing I want to do is I want to find out the difference. Uh, this example is for conditional formatting. So I click equal to sales for 2010 C2 minus sales for 2009. So I'll come to know whether the sales went up or down. I click enter using the check mark or the enter on the keyboard. Now I look for the fill handle left click and hold the fill handle down and then just drag so it fills up all the things for me and as a result I've got some negative numbers and some positive numbers so the idea is that usually I can go on this and I can apply a red color manually or I can even highlight things and I can go to the number category and in the currency I can choose that the red number should show up negative number should show up in red and I click OK and whenever you see the pound symbol it means that the number doesn't fit in the cell so you just come up here between D and E double click so it will expand I don't want to do it this way because I want to show you the example of conditional formatting I'm just gonna come here and go back to general what I want to do is I want to put a condition saying that if the number is above a certain number then make it a certain color and if it is below a certain number then put make a certain color so what I do is I highlight first of all the section I can even come here and click on D and that will highlight the whole column if I want to apply it on that whole column so you could do that for now I'm just gonna highlight this numbers and there is an option here called conditional formatting highlight cell rules greater than so I want to put the first condition which is for greater than and I can put 0 you can put any number 100 200 500 and I'll put a color green color you could even go to custom format and then apply even more format like you can apply the colors whatever green color you want so you have options for that you can even apply a fill like that's the whole background color whatever you want it and you can also have the font color whatever green color you want it so you can take your pick click OK and click OK again now you'll find that the green color is set I can highlight it again conditional formatting highlight cell rules less than now this time I want to say less than zero which are all negative numbers and you can take your pick for something red color or whatever you feel like red text or you can even again do custom format and you can choose a red color click OK and click OK again so all the positive numbers are green in color and the negative numbers are red in color if I highlight it I go to conditional formatting clear rules clear rules from selected now all the rules are removed can highlight it again and in the conditional formatting you'll find they have some interesting options like icon sets that you can use any of these options and it puts those arrows kind of a thing or you can put like a stop symbols and you can go back clear rules clear rules from selected and you can choose to have many different options like there is between equal to so there are different conditions that you can apply you can they also have created an option for text so if it was just alphabets you can use that to choose what color should turn what what words should turn in what color so they have a lot of different options so that's conditional formatting the next thing I want to talk about is what's called if function. Now, if functions are like um, a logical function. The way you sometimes might talk to your child and say, if you get 
good grades or good results then you will get the bicycle or else you will get something something small so it's like a if statement whatever the statement is and then you tell the computer what to do if that statement is true and then you also tell the computer what to do if that statement is false okay, so there are three parts to it so if you understand the logic the actual part is pretty clean in this case I've got people who've done sales and I want to decide how much bonus they should get okay so to start if you can start from two places you can go to the formulas tab and in the logical you see the if function and you click it and it starts this window or even you just click on this FX button and then you look for the word if and you click OK now what is my logical test here my logical test is if the sales is greater than a certain number so say I make up a number and say sales have to be greater than 36,000 so I click on the cell for sales which is B2 put the greater than symbol shift and the greater than symbol is a one button on the right of M and then I put the number 36,000 now what do I want to give them I'll say you know what if that is the case you know give them their sales amount multiply by 2% just for example so if someone sells over 36,000 they'll get 2% of their sales if not they'll get sales multiply by 0.5% so like half a percent or even you can say 1% or you can put nothing there so I click OK I look for the fill handle and I copy it down and now you see that wherever the sale is greater than 36,000 that person got 2% and the people who sold less than 36,000 they got 0.5% like half a percent of their sales now here I want to put a variation and bring the notion of absolute reference in place because what happens is if I go back and I change my mind and I decide that I don't want to give them 2% of their commission I'll just give them 1% so I have to go to this cell click on FX and it starts the if function again and I put 1% in place of 2% click OK and then I have to use the fill handle again instead of doing that I can click in the side here and I can just make up cells here so up here I'm gonna put the sales number say 36,000 this will be the true percent which is the bonus percent and I'll say 1 percent and false percent which will be what if that they don't reach that number and I'll just put 0.5 percent so now when I go to my C2 cell and start the FX instead of typing the value 36,000 I'll just point to the cell where I have the 36,000 and now because I want all of the sales figure the B2, B3, B4 all of them to look at this cell I have to make it absolute so if I press the F4 key at this point it will put a dollar symbol for me I'll have to type it manually so I'll put shift and 4 and shift and 4 again to put a dollar sign before G and before 2 in your case you can just press the F4 key on the keyboard and it will make it absolute if you don't know what absolute reference is you can look at my video number 3 I think this is number 4 so you can look at what absolute reference is and how that works I click OK not okay I need to change the 1% so if they make more than 36,000 they sell more than 36,000 I want to give them B2 multiplied by this cell whatever percentage is in that cell and again I have to make this absolute so I'll click here and I put the dollar symbols around them same thing with the 0.5% I say B2 multiplied by this cell which is G4 and I put the dollar sign 
around them. In your case, just press F4, the dollar signs will be added automatically. I click OK. Look for the fill handle, copy it down. Now the benefit is, say if I come here and I change the through percent to 2, now you'll find that the numbers on the bonus will automatically change. So now they are 780 and 800. Say if I type here, and I'm being generous, and I type 10% of their sale, now people who did more than 36 can 10%. And I can even change the fall percent from 0.5 to 1 percent. Now they get 1 percent. So this is really useful to do absolute reference because I just have to change the things in one place rather than in multiple places. Now the next example I want to talk about copying and pasting. In Excel, there is a little idea that comes up when you copy and paste when you have to deal with um, formulas. So I'm going to do the regular copy. So I'm going to highlight this. From the Home tab, I click Copy. Or you can right click on it and choose Copy. I come to the Sheet 3. And I'm just going to de delete this information. And go back and copy again. Come back to Sheet 3 and I'm going to hit the paste button here or I can just right click and hit paste so it copies that information from sheet 2 and puts it here which is fine because they are only words but if I want to copy this bonus line and put it on sheet 3 if I copy this and I come to sheet 3 and I try to paste it I'll get an error message in the formulas because when I'm copying and pasting formulas Excel doesn't know what it should paste. By default, it will only paste the formula. And if you look at the formula bar, it's trying to use A2 in its formula where I don't have anything. So I'm just going to click Undo. And I'm going to come here and it's highlighted and copy again. And when I come to Sheet 3 and I click on B1, I click on the drop down button below the paste. In 2007, you'll see words written there called paste values, paste, and an option called paste link. In this, they've added this extra features. So you see there's an option called paste values here. In 2003, you'll see it right away. So I can choose this option which says value and number formatting or just the value. And I click it. And now it puts the numbers here just the number. So it only copies the numbers from there and puts it here. I'm going to do it here one more time and when I click here I'm looking for an option called paste link. Now in my case it's up here like this. I think they've just made it a little more difficult in 2010. In 2007 it's easy because you see a word called paste link. So I click it. Now when I click on this cell C2 it tells me formula bar that it is equal to sheet 2 C2 so these cells are connected to these cells that's what a link does so these cells are connected to these cells in the first one when I pasted values it only puts the number so you see if I look at the formula bar it only puts the number but here it tells me disconnected. The benefit is if I come here and I say I change any of the numbers on this sale. So I change the number for 34,000 to 44,000. And right away this guy now gets more bonus because he's selling more than 36,000. And I come to sheet 3 and you'll find that the link has changed. So that's the benefit of doing a paste link. You can also do right clicks and then choose space special. So I can just go back here, copy, highlight and copy. Sorry, I'll do it up here. Highlight this on sheet 2, copy, come to sheet 3, click here, right click, paste special. And I can choose paste link or I can also choose paste values. So if you right click, you can choose to paste special. This window is exactly the same as in 2007. And I can do paste link. Now while we are on the topic of copying and pasting, I'm just going to highlight this information on sheet 3. 
and copy it and I'm gonna start Microsoft Word the same ideas apply to when I'm copying in Excel apply to in Microsoft Word so I click here below paste and I choose paste special and the first time I'll just do a regular paste it's already highlighted but I'll just tell it that it is coming from Excel and I click OK and I'm gonna hit enter a few times I go back here choose paste special this time I'm gonna do a paste link from Excel click OK that means this guy is the link and this one is a regular paste so when I go back to the Excel and I go to sheet 2 and I'm just gonna start changing some numbers so I'm gonna change the 35,000 to 40,000 and I'll change this 39,000 to 32,000 and this 40,000 to 34,000 so now you see the people who had the bonuses kind of don't have the bonuses and the other people the 4,000 is changed here so when I go to sheet 3 I see the change the bonus now when I go to word now things have changed in word you see the bonus here 4,000 but not in the first one so the op the option of paste or paste link is available even in Microsoft Word whether you want to do a regular paste or whether you want to do a paste special and in similar sense if you make a chart here in Excel you can copy the chart and you can paste it in PowerPoint and you can use the same option of choosing paste special and choosing whether you want to do a paste link or just a regular paste so that's it for this video thank you for watching